hello welcome to my channel welcome to another flip through um i am fitting some recordings in while i'm time sharing not multitasking the thing Sorry. time sharing not multitasking all right this is the world of cross stitching this is by immediate media company if you haven't already been made aware immediate media are shutting down a lot of their cross stitching uh, magazines or craft magazine side of the publishing so yes I'm not sure if they're going to continue doing anything online but rumor had it was it's uh, going to be closing it down so we'll see how it goes with regard to how they're going to inform the rest of their viewership there is a pretty vintage charm summer stitch and I liked this because it had the um, the little cabin You've got the pattern in here with all your floss and requirement. It is Siobhan Harrison's work. So it looks like she's designed the picture, but I'm not sure if she also designs the pattern. I'm not au fait with a lot of the people. Uh, now, this is... I'm looking for details. This is the July issue. It's issue 295. Um, it's Let's see what it says. This I found, this particular publisher, there's a lot of ads, um, didn't necessarily thrill me, but they do have some nice patterns. So let's have a look. Um, now because it's sealed, couldn't have any idea of what's in here. Um, looking at these previews, not really gone on them. And with that whopper of a thing on the front it was very hard and the print on the bag it's very hard to actually see what's going to be inside this is cute though I'll show you the teddy bear it's a welcome to the world sampler kind of kiddo thingy all right so we've got a pretty toucan if you're into that kind of thing you've got your Japanese uh is it Japanese no Chinese Chinese? No, Japanese. I'm right. It says cherry blossom. Japanese. Are they? The, they're not the geishas. Or are they the geishas? I can, yeah. I need to go there. Now. Uh, we. <laughs> no way. Hang on. You've got to see this. She's a flipping unicorn mouse. Look. How cute is that? Oh my goodness. That's so cute. It uses two, four, six, eight, nine, nine, nine. Yeah, nine colors. One of those is also used for back stitching. She's 40 by 34, 28 count even weave, two and three quarters by two and a half inches. That's so stinking cute though. Oh, that's awesome. Now, if you've missed a chart, there's issues 294 which is the kid in the shorts um there's the queen in 293 and there's monty okay so that's lizzie hang on unicorn mouse flossy is the unicorn mouse so it's queen lizzie and monty is again cutting the grass so yeah okay, okay it's Stereotypical boys doing boy jobs, girl doing girl things. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. They're still promoting the future. Maybe they're going to finish it up at the end of the year because they'll have these already in production, to be honest. Um, yeah. Cute cabin, though. Siobhan Harrison is the designer. Pattern is in the flyer that you get as an extra. Now... This toucan is a little bit different. There's a lot of back stitching in the feathers. I'm going to zoom in for you to see how much detail you guys can see. I'm sorry, it's blocking my mug. But do you see the hexagon kind of shapes, kind of the beeswaxy kind of shapes on the wings? That's all back stitching. So it's actually white back stitching. And um, I think, yeah, there's black as well. There's a ton of backstitch in this, actually. There's... Now, let me see if I can get this so I can see you and you can see it. More importantly, you can see it. There's backstitching on all of these, these little straight lines here. That's all backstitching. 
there's blue lines here there's more lines here there's backstitching everywhere on this it's a busy busy piece very busy piece Kay Widowson is the artist for that one so if you like backstitching oh my goodness that is the cutest <laughs> Stitched bunny. Now, I'm trying to see what the details are on the stitched bunny. This is the Meadow um, Cross Stitch Bunny by Rendale Designs. That's. Oops. Sorry about that. I'm leaving you all blurry. That bunny there. It's gorgeous. And the whiskers and the grass, and that's all kinds of cool. So that's the letters from the readers uh, showing their bits, show and tell. All right, Hampton Court Palace sampler. We've got the old um, palace with the alphabet. And this is from Jenny Vanderweel. You get the full double spread for the design and then you've got your alphabet here. Top tips for preserving samplers. Uh, washer projects. Um, frame use a UV filter glass wouldn't have thought of UV filter glass and pick where you display it carefully hmm. right now that's um, brain fart snow and not sugar snap Ugh, what's the other peas sweet pea glasses case that's really cute Amanda Gregory that's nice it's actually showing two different designs. Uh, there's a sweet pea case. And why is it showing? It's also showing a reader panel. Hmm, okay. Uh, beach, sun, sea, and sand. And it's got all the different letters. That's really cool. Now, if it gives you the alphabet, it does. You could go to town. So, let me tell you. There's... A butterfly, a palm tree, a hat, uh, a floaty, um, a flower, a beach ball, there's another hat, sunglasses, a crab, ice cream, seagull, umbrella, um, sunglasses with heart shapes, another seagull, different direction, um, a bee on flowers, a bucket and spade. Ice cream, uh, drink like a margarita kind of thing. A uh, starfish, another beach ball, piece of melon, another bucket and spade, butterfly and flower, ice cream, big strawberry, and another palm tree. They're really, really cool. So if you're interested in those, please um, talk to me. Um, and I could chop them out and send them to you and um, they're really really cool and nice sizes hang on uh, they would look to be about 20 by 20 stitches um, maybe even a 27 it says 27 high 27 wide maximum stitch count but hmm, anyway maybe or maybe not these are some nice blackwork blooms. So you've got the blackwork pattern in design, and then you've got some fill patterns inside. Um, now, wishes granted. If you'd like it, I would really like a design of a border collie so I can make a card for my neighbour who has one. And Jenny has designed the border collie cross stitch. That's really cool. Rachel. You could get that of Luna. You could per convert it to Luna. The shading in the body and everything is awesome. That's really, really cool. Um, yeah, there was a moon here. Coloring cross stitch kits. Oh my goodness. So you get the cards and you can cross stitch where the holes are. Okay. I know Stitch Wrist is getting into. Um, cr cross stitch on card or cross stitch on paper very unusual alright here is our geisha and the Japanese tiered 
um, buildings. What are they saying? And cherry blossoms, of course. So, showing her intricate pattern as the Pakoda, of course, yes. The Geisha's hairpins. And what else? Um, intricate pattern on the kimono. So you've got the interlock there. You've got the flowers on the kimono. You've got some back stitch into the hair. I think that's beads. Yeah, it's beads up here in the top of her hair. And then that cherry blossom is just gorgeous. There's even some back stitching on her fan. Wow. All right, now that is almost a spread. So there's that little border from some detail and it continues, blimey. So it's more than two pages. Uh, save 50% when you subscribe. 13 issues. I wonder what they're gonna do about all of that. Int that's for the, yeah, same stuff. I love these bossy dress cats. I should get them. I love the cats. Up and away, head up to the skies with this high flying collection. Now we've got spaceships, we've got a Spitfire, we've got, um, what are they, the red, red devils? No, can't recall. It might be on the next page. And there's some kites. So you name it, you've got a flyer and there's dinosaurs. Oh, no designs on here, so you get to look. All right, so red arrows. So they're the UK flying team. You've got the Spitfire from the war. You've got a blimp from the war. Some balloons, they are gorgeous. Nice bit of shading on those. You've got a spaceship, um, rocket. I put the box under to lift my um, focal point, but it, it's not quite high enough for you guys. Uh, there's your pterodactyl. I'm not gonna spell that. There's kites, and then there's a mishmash of space and aliens. That's cool. And there's a design page, and you've got like a falcon. So you know how the falcons land with feet first? It's that kind of pose. You've got a seaplane. You've got a parachutist. You've got a helicopter. You've got one of those double-ended helicopters with the whirly bits on both ends. You've got a police chopper. You've got some paper planes, Concorde. Um, hot air balloon, <laughs> you've got a drone, <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, you got a parachutist who is, or a skydiver, that one, the one who's falling out of the plane, but no parachute out at that point. That's cool. So, lots for anyone who does anything up in the sky. All right, some party stuff. That mask is really, really cool. So are these. The birds are kind of cute. The detail is lost with the people, I think. But the birds and the masks look awesome. Uh, Cheryl McKinnon has designed those and it keeps going. Because there's six of them. Uh, Golden Oldies giving you some codes for those kits. Some Bella Filipi Filipina? Yep. Yeah. Um, I was thinking it was a bit mirabilia, but I'm not sure if she designs for them or not. Um, you've got some mandalas in needlecraft. Holy cow. Wow. Now, this was the kids announcement kind of sampler thing. Isn't he cute? And the lemony colour is just gorgeous. Actually, the amount of colours in that blanket alone you can kind of see it mottled through so you've got some darks you've got some mid-tones you've got some light tones let me take a look at the pattern there are one two three yeah three tones in it so i'm seeing what's there but the detail is just gorgeous um really really nice touch It's still saying that they're going to deliver for the next three months. We'll deliver a copy direct to your door as a three month subscription if you're interested. Um, so yeah, maybe it's to the end of the year. Uh, see the value of the moment before it becomes a memory sampler. Can you stop that please? Yeah. Sorry. I'm on dinner. Uh, 12 days of Christmas. Oh, yes, it's Christmas. Hang on. Uh, this is an interview with Diane Manchin if you're interested in her 
How did you become a designer? Uh, range of... Uh, sorry, hang on. Diane's range inspired by her adventures in good mental health practice. Gumption and gratitude. Gumption and gratitude. Gumption. Dear. Uh, visit Diane's Etsy store on Green Ginger Designs at Etsy and Diane Match and Stitches at et dot Etsy. So if you like Diane Matchin's work, go for it. Oh, we've got Margaret Cherry's birthday kitty. I love Margaret Cherry's cat cats. They're awesome. Next month, or is it next month? No, it might be a back issue actually. Dang flowers tropical treats so we've got the birds of paradise i don't know what that one is that's a calla lily and that's some other kind of lily they're cool that's jereen jones uh -huh. why wouldn't i like her yep 10 to 12 hours each in each of those flowers okay interesting i have timed myself diamond painting um I haven't timed myself cross stitching and you know it could tell you how many hours is in a project which is a, a good thing to do um how to make your own placemats then uh, and then we've got your cross crossword not your cross stitch and um, crossword and sudoku uh enter to win and there's the improved calligraphy ad next month so we got a jellyfish we've got a wedding couple with the mice that's cute um we've got some birthday applique style cards uh samurai warrior from japan as well next week next month um friend forever exclusive the gorgeous bouquet and also cuddly bear i love the forever friends bears they're cute um patterned potholders fun beach chart from Doreen Jones so I think you're going to get something like this for this so you get a Doreen Jones pattern um okay choosing your essentials how to read the keys how to do stitching um places for projects so stockists for anchor anchorcrafts.com sewandcraft.co.uk blacksheepwools.com for dmc it's dmc.com james needles is john J sorry john james needles jjneedles.com for needles and sewing essentials lakeside needlecraft.co.uk madeira.co.uk barnyarns.co.uk sewitall.com um at the subscription and zweigart.de so there are some websites for projects find all the charts kits and threads and accessories featured in the issue and there is a button of addresses what you can do if you're good is hit pause right now if any of these are too blurry, let me see if I can blow that and give you a bit more focus. There we go. All right. If you need any more details on any of those and you've got the header, but you haven't got the actual detail, um, again, shoot me a comment and I will grab that detail for you. Okay. Uh, again, advertising that you can get 13 issues. Be very hesitant about subscribing for that, given that they've I made an announcement I'm not I can't recall where the announcement was made um, but yeah they made the announcement saying that they were going to be ceasing their magazine production on their craft magazines and the cross stitch ones were being hit now it could be that there's going to be enough of an outcry that they're going to keep going we'll see um, yeah but there you go world of cross stitching this is the July uh, issue 295 um, if you're interested in having a look at any of those in more detail and if there's any patterns in particular I'm quite happy to um, tear out ones that I can 
and um, give these to anyone who's interested if there was anything in particular. And those beach letters, they were a winner. They were really, really cool. All right, I'll let you go. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again on another flossy type of um, video. See you around. Bye. For May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand.